Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Friday. Hopefully everyone's made it through the week. It's been a long week, but a short week for some because of the holiday weekend. But Tuesday still feels like a Monday. No matter what day of the week you start, it always feels like a Monday. I hope everyone's had a wonderful day. It was weather-wise today. It was a little bit warm today. Not too bad, but it's a lovely, cool evening this evening. The wind is blowing a nice cool breeze and I do spend a lot a lot of time outside and I was just sitting outside with Kalua and I really love when you hear all the peepers peeping and all the lightning bugs are now gone all the peepers are starting to slow down and I'm hearing less and it's just all those signs that fall is definitely approaching and not that that's a bad thing but you know there's Spring, summer, winter, fall, they all have different things that I feel that are good and things that are not so good in my opinion. Anyways, what I have for you this evening is something just a little bit different. I have a few items from Marshalls. I have a few items from Bath & Body Works. I have a few items from Target. I have a few items from the Christmas tree store and I have an item that I purchased on Amazon that's been on one of my wish lists for a very long time and it's kind of a bittersweet but we'll get there when we get there and I thought we'd just kind of chit chat a little bit at the same time so I'm gonna start with the few things that I did find at Marshall's for those of you that know I am a Ray Dunn fan Although I have to admit, this year, this is only my, hmm, gee, I have to ask Linda. <laughs> is this my, I think this is my second year going into Ray Dunn. Um, I believe so. I have to double check. Um, but my point being is, I am still considered what I would say to be a newbie to Ray Dunn. And I have to say, I have been so stressed out this year because it just seems like so many places are allowing customers to come in and completely just wipe out shelves. Just, you know, and I think when we have something like this going on, I feel that it's the retailer's responsibility, um, you know, to kind of maybe limit things a little bit so everybody gets a chance. But that's just me on my soapbox and how I feel. So what I did find, so I'm, I mean, my point just being is I'm really frustrated as a newbie to it. And I've probably put so much mileage on my car, I can't even imagine. Um, anyways, for those of you that are finding it, you know, woo -woo, um, I see all kinds of pictures for around my area, but yet. I guess it's just hit or miss. So I did find these and I don't normally look for this, but I happened to go down the aisle by mistake actually. And these jumped out at me and it's a set of two Ray Dunn dish towels. I have to admit, these feel really nice. I don't know about their absorbency or how they, well they would work. I don't know if most people would use them as decorative, but they're both black and then the first one when it's opened up it says spooky and then the second one you open it up i believe it says just boo yep boo and for me these would probably be completely decorative um they were 6.99 at marshalls so you know like 3 might as well say three fifty a towel. You know they're pretty. Am I like super gaga over them? Eh. They did have them in white. I really didn't like them in white. They just didn't pop like the black did. So I will probably end up putting these on the kitchen cabinets that like are facing when you come through the back side of the house um, to just go with the Ray Dunn that's going to be on the center there. Okay. Um, everyone knows who does not know at this point if you watch my channel. Can you tell by like purple pillows, purple walls, purple glasses, purple everything? Um, I'm about ready to do some purple hair at this point. I did find 
a new Nomi and I was so cute. For those of you that don't know what a Nomi is, it's a gnome. I just call it Nomi or Nomies. It's just my thing. This guy is so cute and it's, I got a little story to go along with this. This guy measures 14 inches. First of all, purple is my everything. I love purple, anything in purple, okay? Here is this little dude, and now mind you, his beard is all, I haven't, like, usually when I get these, I comb them out because they're a total mess. Sometimes I even cut and shape them because, you know, the, you can adjust them. I get rid of the tag. You know, I fix them all up. Their little knitted hats do have a piece of wire that run through it, so you can bend it. Sometimes I'll make a pom-pom and put it on the top of it. So there's a lot of things that you can do, but this is funny for a couple of reasons. Number one, because it's purple. And I am just like all that in a bag of chips about this. I am so excited. Next, the price. I mean, look at that price tag. You can't beat that. Lovely, you know, got all kinds of nice beans. He's sewn all just pretty and cute. This gnome, about two weeks ago, I did a video and I showed you a kit and it had this gnome in it with some, yeah, Beth, garland. I paid $20 for it. Same gnome and the garland, $20. Same gnome, $5.99. Where do you think that kit went? Back to the store. I didn't really want the garland. I didn't need the garland. I wanted the gnome. So I am very pleased to say that not only did I return what I had, I got, of course, you guys knew this was gonna happen um, <laughs> because that's just how I roll. And he's got all these little bats and I just thought, okay, you know what? This guy's gonna need a sidekick. So you returned that one other item. I got two and still had money left over. So sometimes that's what it's all about. <laughs> okay. It's called, what, what should we call this? It's just, um, shopping smartly or, or maybe just, I don't know. Maybe I have an obsession about <clears throat> shopping weird or something. All right, moving on. I'm going to show you something. So that was basically everything from Marshalls. Now, I placed an order on Amazon for something that I have been looking for forever. Susie, if you're watching DIY Susie, if you're watching girlfriend, I can stop moaning and groaning because I finally found them. This is a little bittersweet for me because one has a bad crack in it, um, but the replacement is being sent. So thank good for Amazon following up on what they should. But I have been looking for these little, well, I shouldn't say little because they measure two and three quarters by two and three quarters. They're so cute. I've wanted these for so long, it's not even funny. So I'm gonna leave them in the container because I don't wanna damage them. Look at these little hot cocoa marshmallow mugs. Are those just absolutely precious? I am so tickled pink, cause number one, first of all, they don't have handles and I didn't want them to. So here is exactly what they look like. So cute. And then they're, you know, they're hollow. But you know how you can get those little hats to make and put on them? And right now, actually, my niece in Chicago, Jennifer, she does a lot of looming and knitting and she does all kinds of arts and craft fairs. And I gave her a heads up about these that I was going to be purchasing them. And I'm like, you got to figure out a way to make me some fancy hats. So right now, Jenny's working on that. Um, and thank you, my love. I love you so much. Um, so here's the deal. I got this one here, 
looking so forward for this for Christmas for my tray. The next one, and they're all the same size. Just look at that face. Oh my gosh. I have so many different ideas and plans for these. The next one looks like this. These are just, oh my gosh. There's so many things you can do with them. And then the one that I have that's damaged, I want to show it, but I'm scared. Yeah, I'm scared it's going to crack even more. So I'm just going to put it right back here in the box. It's this one here has a crack running all the way through up over the backside. And I'm scared it's going to break or separate more because this set is actually going back to the manufacturer. They're sending me a new one, but that's the one that's broken. And I really don't want to damage it anymore, but I am so excited. I'm just tickle pink. But like I said, it's bittersweet, but I know I have another set on the way. And once that set gets here, I can inspect it. And then as long as everything is okay, I'm just sending this one back. And they're, you know, they're paying for it to go back and everything. They've been really wonderful, the company that did these. So I'm really super excited because like I said, I've wanted them for such a long time. So I'm really looking forward to that. Okay. Let's now move to, let's jump over to Bath and Body Works real quick. This wasn't a big deal at all, but, <clears throat> oh, I actually have a few, another store here. My bad. There's some Hobby Lobby going on here. So, um, here we go. Bath and Body Works, not a big deal. I happen to have a uh, gift card that I didn't use, so I was able to apply that to my purchase, so my purchase wasn't a whole lot. They had a sale going on with their hand soaps, and usually that is the only time I get hand soaps from Bath & Body Works is when they're on sale. And they were running the four for, is it four for 20? Um, actually, where's my receipt? And I can tell you. Oh, that's Michael's. Okay. Uh, Bath and Body Works. Hand soaps were four for 20 or six for 26. Okay. So this is what I picked out. I wanted something, you know, I sometimes... Oh, this is going to sound weird, but I have a hard time, not a hard time, but transitioning from September to October, you know, you got fall and then Halloween, but in fall, there's Halloween things like pumpkins and here's me going outside the box again. I'm going, woo woo. Um, that's it. I'm going, woo woo. Anyways, you know, you have pumpkins and leaves and stuff like that in September because that's what starts fall. Anyways, with that being said, so I try to do my decorations fall and then transition some of them into more Halloween-ish. Does that make sense? And then I go into Thanksgiving-ish and then into Christmas-ish. Anyways, so I grabbed myself a couple of new hand soaps and it was a nice treat because I did have a gift card from someone very special and I was able to get into a store to spend it and it's nice because when someone gives you a gift card and you go in and this is just me and you go in and you know I always keep the envelope that the gift card came from and so like while I'm shopping I'm thinking about that person that thought about me to get the gift card so they knew that they were screwed no matter how much they bought me because they'd probably buy me the wrong shit and I'd return it. <laughs> so it's just better to give me the gift card. It was all joking aside, but in this case, that was probably the case. Anyways, so I've gone through all the soaps at Bath and Body Works. And in my opinion, and in my opinion only, I really liked the cream one for a long time. But then I started using the foaming soaps and I really like the foaming soaps better. I think they don't leave a residue and I feel like you get a lot of burst of scent when you're using a scented soap. So the first one, these are all going to be 8.75 fluid ounces. They're all foaming. The first one is 
pumpkin cupcake. Absolutely love it. I don't know, am I a whack job or not? But when it comes to holidays, I pull out my holiday soaps. <laughs> no, my holiday towels. And it's just stuff that makes me feel good. And probably most of you that are watching feel good. That's why we do this. We're here one time. We have to enjoy each day that we have, you know, we really do. So this smells absolutely amazing. So I picked myself up one of those. I also grabbed myself this one and I thought it was so sweet. And it says, love ya a latte. And just look at that. Isn't that just so adorable? adorable. I just thought it was so cute. I think I even got myself, did I get myself two of them? Oh no, I, I remember I, I changed my mind at the last minute. So I got this one and they really do smell true to their scent. Fresh strawberry tart. Mm. And it's funny because every time I use one of these, uh, you know, because I have one in the bathroom and, and I have one <clears throat> in the basement. I have one in the kitchen area. So you get different scents going on no matter where you are in the house. This one here, is this a duplicate? Yes, I knew I had a duplicate something. I did get two pumpkin cupcakes because I wanted one for the kitchen and I wanted one for the bathroom so that motif matched. So I knew I got two of something. The next one is all about fall, y'all. Super duper cute. And this one is Cozy Vanilla Cream. I didn't tell you what the scents were, did I? Okay, well, this one is all about fall, y'all. And it is Cozy Vanilla Cream. But look at that little pumpkin's face. So let me just jump back real quick here. The next one is Whipped Espresso for Love You A Latte, by the way. Great name for that. Fresh Strawberry Tart. I think that says it all in itself. Fresh Strawberry Tart. Let's double check that pumpkin cupcake. Yep, it's pumpkin cupcake. That might be the reason why I didn't say what I needed to say. Last but not least, con Climb <laughs> coconut lime verbe is it verbena? I always mess this up. Coconut lime verbena, coconut lime verbena. Co it's so cute. Look at that beautiful little owl right there giving you a pretty little wink, and there it is. Absolutely adorable. You guys know the set I'm referring to. I'm not going to mess myself up any more than I did. Last thing in the Bath and Body Works bag is they have these a little mint. Well, they're mini. I guess it depends on what you consider to be mini. One person's mini is another person's not mini. They are 12 inches from the top of the handle to the bottom of the bag. And from side to side, they are 10 inches. But in all honesty, let me just like open this up a little bit better. I thought there was a silicone pack in here. I hate these things. Oh, okay. So by the time you puff it out, it's not so mini, but it is so too cute. And my bestie, Miss Linda, I was actually at the drag strip last weekend and we were texting and she says, oh girl, have you seen the new totes at Bath and Body Works? I was like, no. Get on Google right away because we were in between runs. And uh, sure enough, I found it. And she's like, I got to have me one. I'm like, ditto. I went to Bath and Body Works. Bam. Bam, chicka, bam, bam. They had two and I grabbed them. So here they are all puffed up. Here's what they look like on the back side. So the design is only on the front. They're like a washable nylon type of material, but here's what it looks like in the front. The bottom's got quite some width there. It's a decent width uh, as far as across the bottom, four and a half inches, but isn't that adorable? Now let's think about this for a second. So I just went to Bath and Body Works and say I'm gonna give somebody a treat. 
we're gonna toss a couple soaps in there. Actually, they'll all fit in there if I wanted them to. And I might as well just store them all in here while I'm at it, right? Um, so that way. So just so you know how much it holds, there are six bottles of soap in there, but isn't that adorable? And how cute is that? Hang some type of a, oh, I don't know. You could tie this up with a ribbon. You put some fluff hanging. Oh, wouldn't that be an awesome, I'm just saying. I would be thrilled to get something like that. Okay, so that was Bath and Body Works. Moving on, I do need a sip of tea. It is my allergy time of the year. And, oh, that was such a good cup of tea. Um, it is my allergy time of the year, so bear with me. I'm going to have some sniffles. I'm going to have some sneezes. And I don't mean to be rude if I at you all over you. All right. Um, let's do Target real quick. Oi, I got to move back here. I went into Target. By the way, Target has been, I tell you, I remember, I remember pulling a fuzzball out of my mouth. I remember when, now I was living back home in Chicago at the time. I remember when Target Bullseye first came out. And it wasn't even called the Bullseye section when it very first came out. I was in the shop and I had taken my mom in. Sorry. I miss shopping with my mom. <laughs> Oy, um, I had taken my mom in. And they did have it all in the front of the store. And it was like nine racks of stuff. It wasn't all that big of a deal back in the day. And it was just mind-blowing. Because they had like introduced it right around Christmas time. And my mom was just tickled pink to get all these things at such an inexpensive price. And, you know, there's a lot of grandkids Great grandkids, great 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 grandkids. Um, so my mom always tried to do something for everyone, and and she would just go bazonkers in that area. So that's a fond memory I have of shopping with my mom. So, anyways, I went in, you know, hoping to find some stuff in the bullseye section because there's. So much out there for Halloween in the bullseye section. It's, I haven't really found zip compared to many people that I've heard that have found who have been very fortunate to find um, a lot of the cool stuff in the section. So I went in, looked in the bullseye section. I was like, oh yeah, okay, another shot in the dark. It is what it is. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go back by the Halloween section, just take a look around. You know, I'm not in the mood to spend any money for Halloween stuff. I don't really need it. I'm just going to have a gander around. So just got nearly, just literally a couple of things here, really. But I thought they'd be worth sharing because I've been talking about three-tier trays, two-tier trays, and sometimes it can be very hard to find small things to go on trays that you feel comfortable with, that you like, that don't cost a lot of money. You don't want to break the bank. It's your first time doing a tiered tray. You're just testing the waters, okay? Some people, and when I say some people, no one specifically, because everyone does it the way they like to do it. Some trays I've seen, I think myself, are overly done. Other trays I think are underdone. Other trays I think are perfect. I never think any of my trays are all that. I just try to do what I think is nice. But I do try to change things up and give people suggestions. And that's merely what I'm doing. I'm just giving you suggestions, ideas. These are just my thoughts. You know, you can take them or leave them. And I don't mean that in a rude way. Just trying to give you a little bit of information, maybe save you a couple dollars along the way. So these are just a couple things I picked up at the uh, Target. None of this was in the bullseye. In fact, 
Believe it or not, the bullseye section in all three targets I'm able to get to, their bullseye sections are like non-Halloween at this point. It's all back to school stuff. They had one little section. That was it. I was like, wow. So what? I, I don't know if it's just doing all, all about school right now. Now, these were a dollar, but I found them back in the Halloween section. They measure three inches by one and a half. And I only got them for the, I don't know, for the Halloween theme of going on a tray because I thought these be perfect for a tiered tray. First of all, they're sealed in plastic. There's a tag on the back that comes off, but they're coffins with these cool spiders in them. You can open it if you want because it's like slime. I'm going to leave them exactly the way they are. I'm obviously going to remove the tags, you know, get the tags all off the back so you won't be able to see it. And I'm going to use that. Once you won't be able to see the tag through the back, I'm going to use these to put on my tiered tray for, you know, some kind of like spooky part of my Halloween tray. Also, this was um, something a little different for me. I've never heard of this company before. This was new to me. When I went to this part of the department in Target, there was quite a few people buzzing around this collection. And maybe it's just me because I don't know what's out there. It's called Hide and Eek. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's Hide and Eek Mini Mantle Decor is the name of the company. So it's called Hide and Eek. Little on the pricey side. If you break it down per piece, uh, it can be justified. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to try a few of these and see how they look on my tray. They're trying to fall on the floor here and I'm trying to stop that. So the first one I picked up. Again, they're all just saying mini mantle decor. Now they're all sealed in this plastic. So I'm gonna bring it in close because I'd hate to pop every one of these open right in front of you. Let me give you a measurement first. These could be used on trays. These could be used in haunted house decors. You could use these in everything. The majority of all of these, except for one, are three inches in height, okay? So it just gives you some height. So let me bring these in closely. Now, mind you, there is enough. Actually, let me see. Oh, this isn't, oh, well, they're a little, let me try to pull one out. Oh, yes, okay, perfect. All right, so here's the first one I pulled out. Here's what my concern was, is, because he's slanted like this, is there going to be enough surface on the bottom to make it stand? Without a doubt. Let me get this box here that I have. Perfect. Now, maybe you're not a crafty person. That's not your thing. And you're just looking for something to purchase to put on a tiered tray or to decorate with. If you don't have the time or you're just not one of those people that likes to do that, then this is definitely the way to go about it. This first kit I found, one, two, three, four, five, contains five pieces. So here we've got, let me get the glare off for you. There are the first two. And then there are the second, or the, yes, I can count. There's the second set of three three is what I meant to say. Love the ghost. And again, every piece is flat on the bottom for you to stand them up. I just want to check something here real quick. They are wood and they do have a gloss finish. Look at that little witch. Isn't she adorable? Um, they do have a gloss finish, so as long as you don't get something like this wet, you're fine. You don't want to store them in a place where there's a lot of moisture or dampness, and you'll be fine. So, here was the first set I purchased. 
And then the second set, okay, I was looking and I was like, the, the only thing that's the same is the witch. All the other pieces are different. So we've got a couple, let me get the glare off for you. So we've got these jack-o'-lanterns or pumpkins, whichever you call them. And then we got that one pissed off looking kitty cat there. I love this ghost. And then we have another witch. She's exactly the same as the first one, but hey, that's okay. I also found another set and this is a little bit bigger. This has, check this out. We have two more different pumpkins. We have a completely different shaped ghost. And then we've got this black tree. And what you're seeing on the back here is a sticker. So let me, let me get the tree out of the package. This is so, I'm gonna try to anyways. This is so cool because, whoop, hold on here. I want to try to get it out without minimal, as much minimal noise as possible. Love this. And of course, a piece goes flying on the floor. Look at this. So you have, look at the detail in that owl. And then you have this moon. Absolutely just, you know what I just noticed? They glued the moon on backwards. Durr. Okay, so look at this. See the moon and see the glue? and see the owl. If you turn this around, this part of the moon has no glue. So I'm gonna try to take it upon myself to pop that off. If not, then guess where I'm going tomorrow to get it fixed. Anyways, I should have caught that. But how cool is that? Also, you got, well, a couple of the pumpkins fell on the floor. But here's the other pieces that were in that set. So we've got the owl, we've got this ghost. I'm just saying there's things out there, just keep your eyes open. They're moving quickly in the stores because if you pass, they're gone. Last but not last, last but not last, boy. Sip of tea time. Maybe this should be a glass of wine. Okay, let's see if they screwed this one up too. Are you kidding me? Oh, this one I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna paint. Somebody, whoever was doing the moons here was smoking something, man. I don't know because they weren't doing their job. Anyways, this piece is super cool because it's got little headstones. I'm gonna bring this in nice and close because you do have that plastic there, but look at the detail on the headstones. And then you got this skeleton just kicking back here. The bat is in the tree. And there's the moon that's backwards again. Um, You know, I don't know. I'll have to see because that will bother me because I know it's there. And I just noticed, is he flipping the finger? No, I'm just kidding. So these are so cute. Really super excited about checking those out and seeing what they look like. Again, the company is called Hide and Eek, just like it sounds right here, Hide and Eek. Um, I did see one other piece and it was a haunted house. I believe it was $10 and it was about yay big. It was beautiful, but the front had a chip and I was like, oh, I don't mind fixing little things, but I, I have to be honest, when I go to a store and buy something, I look at it because I don't wanna spend money for something that's already damaged. I just can't justify that to myself. Um, that kind of bothers me. I also, because I love my pets, got some more. I got this pumpkin who looks mad. And I got this ghost. And you know, I was looking and correct me if I am wrong, because I could be wrong, but I have never seen candy corn flavored Pez candy. Tell me if I'm wrong. I mean, I have no problem. People correct me all the time. Please do. If I make an error, hit me up, let me know. Has anyone ever seen candy corn flavored Pez? 
Let me know down below because I'm extremely curious. Okay, let's move on to, let's go to the Christmas tree store. When I first moved out here to New York, I was like, Christmas tree store, eh, I don't need any Christmas tree stuff because they didn't have Christmas tree stores in Chicago. And even if they did, I would have probably thought, thought the same thing. It's a Christmas tree store. I don't need any Christmas stuff right now. I'll go there at Christmas time. Well, one day I just took a chance. I think I was with my daughter. We were out driving around. We were still new to the area. And I said, what the heck? Let me stop in. Well, I think it was like 175 bucks later. I had no idea the items that this store carries is just beyond belief. And this, again, is one of those stores that if you see it, no hesitation. If you can afford it, grab it. If you don't end up needing it, save your receipt, return it. Because you're going to go back and it's going to be gone. Trust me, been there, done that, and went... I knew this would happen. Why did I do it again? And I promise myself every time I'm not going to do it. If you have a Christmas tree store near you, go online, um, enter your email address. Yeah, they're probably going to sell it to a million people, but you will get a coupon for 10 bucks off your first purchase. It's worth it. All right, my email is worth 10 bucks. They get them anyways, but you might as well get 10 bucks, okay? So... Let's start with, there's really, again, no rhyme or reason. I'm just pulling it off the side of the bed. I am not really sure how to pronounce the name of this mix, yet I buy this brand all the time. I want to say it's Krusty's, but that doesn't sound like a very good name for food. Krusty's. Krusty? I, I have no idea. Hit me up in the box. Let me know what I'm saying wrong. Pumpkin Spice. Now, I did purchase two. How much were these? How much were these? I just want to make myself politically correct here. Oh, that doesn't help me. That was Bath and Body Works. My receipt is somewhere. I want to say they were two for three dollars, which is a really good buy because normally these are over three. I think they're three forty nine in the store. Sometimes you can get them two for four boxes, a good deal as well. Anyways, it says you can do it in a bread. I don't do the bread all the time. I make muffins as well. Just as good as the bread. Yum, yum, yum. Expiration date on these puppies is February 5th of 2022. Plenty of time, but also perfect for this time of the year. Sorry, I have fleas or bugs or something. I'm just kidding. I was outside and I don't know, gotten a web or something. All right, moving on. Um, I needed some holiday sprinkles and I usually get my sprinkles at Christmas tree, um, because they have like a really good variety and their prices, some of them you can't beat. Here's something I thought that was a little comical. Maybe it's me just paying too much attention to what I'm buying or just realizing that there's only so many manufacturers out there and Everybody distributes stuff under their own name. So, <laughs> this was kind of funny. Um, I was looking at these bottles of sprinkles. And sprinkles, non perials whatever you'd like to call them, can get pricey. This is a 2.75 ounce. So, that's a pretty decent sized bottle, right? So, here's the bottle sitting on the shelf. And I'm in Christmas tree store. Here's the bottle. I turn the bottle around and I see big lots for a buck. What was it? A buck 25. And I'm like laughing. So the next thing I look at is the expiration date. So is big lots pushing their merchandise because of dates? They're good until June 24th of 2021. So you still got, you're still within the FDA time frame. So I'm like, all right, a buck 25. And then I look at the top and I see Christmas tree stores, a buck. Definitely worth a buck. I'm just saying, this is what I do when I shop. I pay attention to this stuff. So 
I purchased two of the candy corn one. Again, big lots, a dollar from Christmas tree. They had one also from big lots again. This one is all autumn leaves. Can you see that? Now, just a little FYI, something that I do. I take these and don't necessarily always use them on my cakes. Those little bottles, once again, decorations for tiered trays. Put those in your bottles. You get, a, you know, for a buck, you get that many. Here was the kicker. And I wish they had more because I would have purchased them. The candy eyes. Not the, you know, fake eyes you buy in a bag at Dollar Tree. The candy eyes you can actually eat. Because this is all edible stuff. You get a .29 ounce bottle. <laughs> Let's juggle here, shall we? I'm just throwing everything. So you get a 29 ounce bottle for a dollar. These are edible eyes here. This is perfect for Halloween. There was the Christmas tree price right there. There is the Big Lots price. Hey, Big Lots of buck 25, Christmas tree store, buck. All right total impulse purchase but candies that reminded me back of the 80s and some of my youth and they were a buck these are good until september of 2022 i mean seriously <laughs> all right who remembers bottle caps i remember when these first came out i was in grade school and going in junior high and it was like what these were so cool because they're in the shape of bottle caps. Still the original flavors, root beer, cherry, grape, cola, and orange. And these were just things that we all like when we were on the way to 7-Eleven because that's what we had in Chicago. We had one right by our school that we had to go right past. We'd hit it up in the morning, get our gum and our candy Hit it up coming home to get pizza, Slurpees, more gum, more candy. Sometimes an occasional pack of cigarettes, whatever. A Slurpee. These are the full five ounce sizes. So I got a bottle cap. And then the other jump me back into the 80s was Sprees. And I remember when these came out, they were in the long rolls. And you would just like keep them in your purse or whatever and pop one in your mouth whenever you could. All right, let me get out of my nostalgia here. Okay, so we're going to stay with the Christmas tree store. It's weird saying Christmas tree store because I feel like you expect me to show you all Christmas stuff. And to be honest with you, I don't have one Christmas tree thing from the Christmas tree store. Halloween stickers. Love, love, love them. These were all a dollar. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 22. 22 stickers. It would have been nice if they told me that, but 22 stickers. <clears throat> These are not only puffy stickers, but they are metallic as well. I'm going to try to get the glare off the best I can. Is that off the hook or what? These are the bomb and they stick very well. I've purchased these types of stickers from Christmas tree stores many times and they work awesome. I also purchased an extra one for friend mail. This one I thought was just different. I thought of someone very specific and I'm going to be sending this to her. This was a dollar as well and this was just a little bit more dark and groomy and more like, you know, wah ha 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 type of Halloween with all the skulls and the black cats and uh, little FYI, my mom being from England. In England, black cats are actually good luck. And when we did have a cat, it was black. And my cat's name was Felix. It was Felix the cat. <laughs> and yes, because of the movie. All right, I had been up and down and all the way around looking for Halloween straws. Haven't seen it met anywhere, and I'm like, oh my god, am I ever gonna find some? So finally, Christmas tree store, a buck ninety nine for a 
50 pack, not 25, a buck 99 for a 50 count. How much more perfect of Halloween can you get than orange and black? Perfect. Going to be using some of them on my three tier trays. If I look like I'm shrinking, it's only because I'm on a bed and the pillows are like way back here and I'm kind of like forward. Okay. These I could not pass up. I just could not. I know I purchased some from Dollar Tree. And they are all great and all that. But these are all that and a bag of chips. Again, we're still doing the Christmas tree store. Dollar Tree, everything's a buck. We all know that. Now, these I think are made a little better. These were a dollar forty nine. I just love them. And I want to try to like build a little collection. This one says poison. Owl droppings, drink at your own risk. Isn't that well done? The stickers are placed nicely. Here's something else I do. I don't want to buy a bottle that's got a sticker that's freaking sideways. I'm sorry. Like, come on. I mean, it's not like you can peel the sticker off and put it on right. Okay, these measure five and a half inches. So, the, I mean, here's my hand. It's a beautiful, like, pink, but it's like a dark pink. Look at the black ribbon done. It's even got a cork, and the cork itself is black. You have a beautiful opening to put whatever you want in here, if you want to. These were only $1.49. For the $0.49, cents, I definitely think these are well more worth than the Dollar Tree. Just my opinion. The next one, pumpkin spiced liqueur. Good for man or beast. This one, same size, same price, same style. The black cork, love it. So that was those first two. Then they had this one that's done, this one would be considered black. This one says, <laughs> oh, I thought of one of my sisters when I read this. My bad. <clears throat> um, Wicked old hag, snake oil, genuine, good for man or beast. I really think it should say for a woman or beast. But anyways, um, there's that one. <laughs> The next one, my favorite color in the world, purple. And this is Black Cat Brand Cauldron Polish for cauldron and broom fittings. Loved these. The labels are all perfect. That You can read them. I just think they're adorable. Too, too cute. Okay. I'm running out of room here. I got all things going on. Next. Oh, oh, I have to share this. I totally have to share this. For those of you that watch my channel know I love my Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pops. And I like the little mini ones too. Now, I was floored when I saw these at the price I saw them. Because normally when these come out, they're 10 bucks each. Well, they're $9.99 because that sounds better than $10. And we all fall for that, you know, BS all the time. This one has new flavors. It's got all different new flavors. It's a 2.25 ounce bag. Are you ready? Voila! Five bucks. Five bucks. Yes, five bucks. I was like, what? Perfect for your purse for your glove box. You got a kid yelling and screaming. Oh my God, here, shut up. I'm just kidding, but it does work. Anyways, you get over 200. Perfect. Friend mail, happy mail, put it on a package just because. Keeps them in your purse. Keeps them in the glove box. I'm telling you, sometimes you just need a little something, something. Always fits it. For that price, you can't go wrong. 
And you know, I didn't even check the expiration date. My bad on that because I'm a real big expiration date person. But, well, I'll be darned. And now I'm being mean by making you all sit here and wait. Oh, 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 oh. No, that didn't help me. Um, I don't know. I'll have to get back to you on that one. I don't even know if there is an expiration date, is there? I guess at some point they probably taste crappy. I don't know. All right, moving on. I am not a big placemat person, but every now and then I'll see something that gets my attention and I will go for it. Plas plasmats. Placemats come in all shapes, forms, sizes. I happen to like these ones that have like the foam on the back and you can see they've got some texture. The reason I like these is they're cushiony and I think they stick on a counter better. They stay settled. They don't like slide all over. I purchased two of these. They were $1.49 each at the Christmas tree store. I just said, oh my gosh, they're so cute. I couldn't possibly pass them up. First of all, look at that saying and look at that color. Is that just screaming, screaming fall? I absolutely love it. Pumpkin spice, everything nice, muffins, donuts, pie. Now, don't get me wrong, pumpkin spices, but I ain't all cuckoo in the head like others are. Not knocking you. I got my cuckoo in the head stuff. I like it. I'm not in love with it. But I do appreciate it decor wise because I think it's awesome. Now, with that being said, I went to a different part of the store and I was looking for a cutting board because Christmas tree stores have the most amazing cutting boards at the most reasonable prices. And I use them more for decor than actually cutting. They're beautiful. So I'm going down the aisle and I'm like flipping through these boards and I see this and I'm going, why does this look familiar? And then I'm like, duh, placemat cutting board. I'm just going to open this to show you because I have, I think five or six in my cabinet already from several years because I get them all the time. Love them. They are glass. So please take that in note. When you open them up, the very first thing you're going to want to do is check your edges. If they feel a little rough, I take a nail file, a literally just a nail file. Just rub that off a little bit. That's just because they're mass produced. There should be four little rubber stands on the back. And is that just adorable? Now, I know you can kind of see my camera reflection, but there it is. I put these on my counter. I have where my coffee maker is. I have one of these in front of there. And then I was so tickled because I have a breakfast nook. Perfect placemats for the breakfast nook. And then I'm like, well... I need a little something to put by my tiered tray for some other things. How perfect is that? In front of your microwave, in front of a tiered tray, on your counter for just a decoration. And I forgot the best thing. The pro You ever get a sticky thing? Whoop, there it went. Look at that price. OMG. They also have these in a bigger version. And those are $3.99. I went through probably 150 of them and not one in the big version. So whether they made one or not, I don't know. I missed out. I would have absolutely have loved to have gotten one in the big version. But maybe they'll get some more in. I'll keep my eyes open. Okay. Something else I have to share. <laughs> More for my three-tier tray, two-tier trays, or just pure decoration. Um, 
Susie, if you're watching, uh, you asked me to mention to you if I found something super cute for the tiered trays. I don't know if you have Christmas tree stores out there. I think you do. If not, let me know, girl. I'll hook you up. These are ceramic, and they measure, they're about three and a half inches all the way around. These are so cute, in my opinion. So the first one we have, it says Witch's Brew, and it's like a little cauldron. And then there's your little footsies on the bottom. And, you know, it's ceramic. Is that adorable? And now look at the price. I was like, are you kidding me? How I can't pass that up. And then I saw this one and went, oh, heck, look at this one. Oh, my God. And it's purple. Again, the same price. I was like, oh, yeah. I couldn't make up my mind. I was like, they both. They, go, they both have to come home. The fact that the color drips over, I think, is perfect. Because just my opinion, when you have an item that's colored on the inside and you fill it with something, you don't get to see it. So when you have an item that lets it, you know, it's on the rim, it's dripping over, you can actually get some of the color scheme. I just was like, these are way too, too cute. There was no way I was going to pass them up. All right. This I think is probably one of the longest videos I've done, but I just wanted to sit and chit chat, share some suggestions, share this shopping thing. I've had this migraine for two days. I just got so much going on and life is getting to all of us. Here I go smacking my camera again. Um, one other thing I want to share with all of you and then I'm going to go ahead and say good night for now. This was the other item. Um, did I get everything? Oh, I do have a couple things I can't share because I know she's going to watch this video and I don't want to hide. Well, I don't want to hide the video from her, but at the same time, oh, she's just going to have to chill. Never mind. Okay, we're just going to skip all that. This was just too cute. I enjoy gnomies very much. Gnomes. Thank you, Linda, for turning me on <laughs> to my gnomies. So I have now a gnomie addiction. I walked by this table and they had all these little trinket trays and things like that. And this was so cute. There was no way I was going to pass it by. And when you're looking at, um, you know, this is like a little porcelain. They were 79 cents. And this to me screams fall. And I mean, oh my gosh, look at the little gnomies. There's not one, not two, but three all dressed up in their fall outfits. They're so adorable. You can see the leaves falling. You can see them up here. You can see a little tree here. So I did end up getting two of the same because I got a feeling someone might want one of those. So cute. I mean, you can put it on a table, on a nightstand, use it for jewelry maybe or something. I just thought it was simply adorable. I really, really thought it was cute. So if you have a Christmas tree store in your area or within even, I don't know, I drive a hundred miles, but that's just me if I really want to go somewhere. Um, I would say, you know, do a search. You can buy some stuff online from Christmas tree stores, but keep in mind with any store, actually, when you buy online, your online selections really aren't as good is what you can always get in the store. Yeah, sometimes certain stores have things you can only buy online, but unless you got a trigger finger and you're sitting there do 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 all day long, you're really never going to get those items on your own unless you've got bots working for you um, and checking these products constantly over and over and over. Um, so that's it. That's a wrap for this evening. Again, this was merely just 
sharing some of the things that I got going on, saying hello to all of you, having, you know, just welcoming the weekend, welcoming fall, the cooler weather. And I just want to again say thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. I am just tickled pink that so many of you have chosen to hang around, stay with me, put up with me, whatever it may be. Kalua, I don't know. She's had a toot lately. I'm not sure what's up her butt lately, but she'll definitely be coming back around because uh, she has no choice. She can't just come in, you know, get presents from all of you and then disappear. That's just way too rude. But with all that being said, she has been having some other things going on on the other end of the house. And what can I say? I can't make excuses. She's going to have to come in here and just tell you all herself. All right, everybody. Till next time, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. And hopefully it's going to be a beautiful day no matter where we are. Until next time, everyone. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for everything that you do for our YouTube family. And when I say our YouTube family, that means all of you. Because without all of you, this would not exist. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.